Uh, firstly, congratulations to England. Um, I'll just turn this down. I'm hearing myself. It sounds bad. Yeah, I'd like to congratulate England. I think they were deserved winners tonight. Um, you had two uh, very, very good sides going at each other, and you know the team that that took the game uh, won the game. So um, we've got no regrets. I'm very proud of the All Blacks. I think uh, this tournament they've played particularly well, and just on tonight we got beaten by a better side. And you know sometimes you might find that sport's not fair. Uh, but tonight it was. We got beaten by a better side. So congratulations to them. Wish them all the best for uh, what's coming ahead of them. It's an exciting time. Uh, to our own side, we, we're going to have to pick ourselves up and uh, play whomever loses the next game tomorrow. So that's exciting for us. Uh, gives us an opportunity to send this tournament off on a positive note. Uh, also like to take the opportunity to thank Japan for a wonderful, wonderful uh, tournament that's been uh, provided for us to be able to come here and uh, do what we do as rugby nations. So, far away with your questions. Thank you very much, Steve. Could take the first question here in front row. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Steve Hanson and Kieran Reid, obviously that's it for both of you career-wise. Um, what is your message to everyone uh, back in New Zealand, starting starting with you, Kieran? Uh, look, I'm sure they're disappointed. That's exactly how we're feeling right now in that shed. You know, look, we the best thing that Steve said, we gave our all, gave as much as we had, and, and today it just came up short. So, um, you know, we're extremely disappointed by that. Um, you know, but right now it's you know it's hard to put things into words. Yeah, look, I think, you know, having been here in 2007, um, you know, it's disappointing. Nothing else you can say about that. Uh, but I think the big difference in 07 versus this year is the fact that, uh, you know, we stepped up to the plate today. We played as well as we possibly could. We just got beaten by a better team and we have to take that on the chin. And uh, as hard as it is to stomach, um, that's what happens in sport sometimes. And, it, you know, we see the character of people when they win um, and we've got to see the same character when we lose. And, you know, whether we're a fan, a, a player or a coach, um, yeah, we've got to stand up and, and be the same people we are when we win. So, heck of a disappointing. Um, you know, and, and just your comment about, you know, it's the end of our careers. We've got one more game to go, Patty. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about that when we... We get that one out of the way. Thank you. Second question here. Steve, uh, you, you said you know, indicated there that you were happy with the team's performance, that you, they turned up, but you said that the team that took the game won the game. Why do you think England was so much better tonight? Uh, well, one, they, they, they created the go forward in the game. Um, we struggled uh, to dominate them at set piece time or breakdown time. So when you go forward, you get all the you get all the iffy 50-50 decisions, um, and that's that's not uh, trying to make an excuse. That's just what happens in the game. Uh, you get the scoreboard gets uh, goes your way, and then you start to have to chase it, and you start making uh, fundamental. Uh, errors like getting offside at breakdowns because you're desperate. Uh, you start offloading balls that you probably wouldn't have to if the scoreboard was in your favour. And you know the, the guys. That's why I know that they, they were giving their best and trying. They just we just got in a situation where we're, England were better than us and and dominated the the, the parts of the game that uh, you know we wanted to dominate. And um, that's why you got to give them credit. え、フリーランスと向かっています。
Uh, in regards to Haka, it had no impact in, in the game. I think, you know, that's what they wanted to do. That's what they did. Um, and, to you know, they, as Steve said, they dominated that breakdown. The, their guys did a fantastic job. Um, we couldn't get quick ball. And that's a difference for us, you know. When it got slowed down, we couldn't couldn't work into our game and, and we're just chasing. So, you know, they did a good job there. Next one here. Next one over there. Uh, Steve, please. Uh, during uh, half time, which kind of uh, tactical solution or mindset solution did you try to, to give to the boys? Mm. Uh, we talked about not waiting, but actually coming and, take, and trying to take the game, try, try and take it back off them. And, um, you know, I guess we needed to get uh, hungry and desperate before it was too late. And we talked about those things. We talked about how we could do that. Uh, starting to get a little bit more set piece ball at the line out. There's a lot of line outs in tonight's game, and um, we probably didn't get the platform there that we anticipated. And again, um, you know, England were very good there. So we had to try and shore that up. And in the second half, we did, you know. Steve, your one uh, selection um, change from the quarterfinal was to bring Scott Barrett in at six. Did that backfire on you, or were you happy with it? Uh, well, look, if I turn around and say it backfired, then Scott's going to feel like, you know, pretty average. So I'm not going to turn around and say it's backfired. So I'll take the take it on the chin that one. And yeah, look, Scotty came out and played the best he did, but did we want to win some more line-out ball? Yeah, we did, but we didn't. But it takes more than one person to do that. Um, if we had time again, we might consider doing something different. Steve, in terms of your reaction to defeat, is this a little bit easier to take because you were outplayed as opposed to 2007 when you might have felt couple of decisions went against you? Oh, look, no, no loss is easy to take. Uh, mm. Probably the only reason it's slightly better is it was in the semis rather than the quarterfinal. Um, you know, the boys are desperately hurting, as are the management. You, know, you put a lot of time and effort and energy into trying to come to win the thing. Um, but, as I said, you know, if you don't achieve what you want to what, what you you want to, to do, you have to put your big boy pants on and stand up and be counted. You know, and and uh, it doesn't stop you from hurting. It just means that you know you you've got to accept the, that, that what's been chucked at you. And sometimes sports does that to you. You know, and they're a good team, so there's no there's no shame in getting beaten by them. Uh, there's a lot of hurt in it, and you know that 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 hurt. Uh, or adversity, if you want to call it that, will will feed a, a lot more All Black teams in the future. So we'll find one positive out of it. Thanks. Right at the back of the room, please. Thank you. Next one here. Ian, how different was that English defence maybe to the one that you saw 11 months ago at Twickenham last November? Was there any difference that you saw? Yeah, pretty similar. I mean, I think they've done a great job in that area, and you could see tonight that um, that they were coming forward and, and targeted certain areas, and and that they've got a really good, strong defensive mindset. And you, you really got, you really need to get a, a lot of opportunities to try to break them down. And, and you could see that we were we, we weren't far away at certain times, but overall they 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 defended with a lot of energy and passion and. You know, clearly they've done a great job in that area. It's um, went up and congratulated my mate Mitch for that. So they've done a good job there. Just here. So um, to Steve, um, it seems that there was a lot of mistakes um, from your side. But um, was mm -hmm. that what's uh, was the pressure um, <laughs> been affected? Uh, uh, look, I think there's a lot of mistakes on both sides. Uh, both teams try to play a bit of footy, and when you do that with the defence patterns that were being uh, executed out there, then you know, you're going to be trying to handle the ball under a lot of pressure. And because of that, sometimes there's mistakes. 
Uh, so uh, would we have liked to execute a few things better? Yeah, we would, but it, it comes back to you know having that ability to go forward. Uh, you know, not going forward stops you having time and space and... Um, you know, as Foz has just talked about, their defence was very, very good. So, you know, another tick to them. Ours wasn't too bad either. They only scored one try themselves. You know, so. <coughs> yeah. um, Karen, Steve mentioned before, uh, I think you said we needed to get hungry and desperate before it was too late. From your point of view, from the from the players' point of view, I suppose, did the team turn up with the right attitude tonight? Yeah, I think we did. You know, you, you've seen how much hard we worked out there. Definitely, the boys really wanted it. Um, I think the detail of the match probably, you know, didn't go our way. But no, our, our work rate and and how much we really wanted it was was there. Um, you could see it even in that first half. You know, when when we conceded, we came back and and hung in there. It's uh, you know, it's just. To be honest, pretty gutting. Just you know, when it doesn't go your way, it's it's, it's a hard thing to take. And uh, I know that we're all hurting. I, I'd just like to clear that up too, because I think it's quite a disrespectful question to suggest that the All Blacks turned up not being hungry. They're desperate to win the game. Because I've asked them at half time to get hungrier, doesn't mean to say they didn't turn up to be hungry. There's a big difference. And uh, if you want to spend some time outside, I'll I'll give you a rugby education on that one. But to turn up and say an All Blacks team comes to a semi-final of the Rugby World Cup with with the amount of ability and 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 the history that it's had behind it, to say it's not hungry, that that's a pretty average question, I reckon. Okay, last two questions, one here and one there. Thank you. There were a huge amount of massive hits put on the All Blacks out there probably more than people have seen for many years uh, in one game. Um, a number of players just 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 polaxed in some ways. Well, where did that come from? Is that, uh, uh, you know, where, where did that come from? Well, again, when you're, when you're getting ball and you're not going forward uh, and you're playing a team that's desperate as heck to, to win a Rugby World Cup and you can't win it if you don't win the game. So... You know, they had players that were prepared to throw their bodies at our guys and, as you said, there was a massive hits both sides of the park. Um, so, you know, look, I'm extremely proud of how this All Black team's been and uh, they've been very, very good for a long, long time. Uh, just tonight we weren't good enough and, and that's sport. OK, last question here, thanks. <clears throat> Kieran, obviously disappointing, but you know you live for games like this. It was a great game. Were you still able to enjoy the battles you had out there? Um, in the battle, yes. Not with probably a couple of minutes to go, when when you probably knew that was that was it. But I think you know it's a semi final. It's a game that you want to be involved in, and, and the guys absolutely turned up with as much as we could bring, and we fell short. Um, we'll pick ourselves up because that's what we're going to have to do as All Blacks. But no, it's, uh, yeah, it's a hard thing to sit here and, and try and tell you exactly why it is. But we, we, you know, we're short today and uh, we're hurting because of it. And uh, we'll, we'll move on. OK, Ian, Steve, Kieran, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.